it wasn't bad at all. No, come right in. Yeah, just, yeah definitely keep that open. Yeah, because if we touch our eyelashes, it's a little uncomfortable. But keep that other eye open. That's the important part. Is we can keep that eye open. It makes it harder for you and me. That's really, really the key because if you keep one, both eyes open, it tends to keep the other eye open yeah. for me. I'm going to back up, go ahead and blink. I'm going to do it one more time. I think I've got you, but um, I kind of have to do this kind of thing, so <laughs> it's just a little longer. I'm ready just because then you're doing fine. It's pretty much the same. Really? After all? Was she was singing pretty high, yeah, no, but, then it, but then again, it must have been could be the way it was blinking, blinking yeah. and stuff like that, which yeah. is great. Yeah. So I appreciate it. I just want to check in and see what we're at today. How's that? Yeah, because yeah, it's been 20. It's been a good 20 years. Is that? You mean since the night? Since I check, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. And that was only, and when I had it done, after I had ice blown in my eye. Mm -hmm. My main, my main concern, which is, which you definitely uh, relieve me of, is what, what do I need for reading? You know, reading mm -hmm. glasses and when or not I was using the right. Fourteen both eyes, which is really weird because it was clearly fine at the time. I didn't, yeah. Okay, okay. And I mean, it was pretty clear. Okay, good. So, um, sweet My eye, my eye, my eye, she's gotten away. <laughs> Do you have to have the magic touch, or you have the other one? I will hang out. It was kind of tricky because yeah. this one is so much different. You, I had to do this, and then kind of come across, and whatever. But yeah, good. Anyway, so half percent or oh, uh, one. Thank you. I'm going to give you one drop. It's going to probably take about 10-15 minutes for these drops to work. However, okay. 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 So let me just put this light up. Sorry, it's going to be kind of bright, but I don't see well in the dark. Or you do have any time? Oh, do you have a Kleenex still? No, I'll give me a hand. Let me get you a new one here. Here, let me take your old one. Thank you so much. You can do have any time. And then what we'll do is we'll put you in the waiting area um, just for those drops to work. Okay. Those went into my sciences. Oh, let's say that's something called. Hold on. Taste them. So again, probably about 10, 15 minutes, so we'll put you back in the waiting area, and at that point, um, what's, the, what's the next? Um, well, th th they'll, they'll dilate, mm -hmm. um, and then you'll come back, you'll see the doctor, and she's going to check the health of your eyes and the back of your eyes, because in order for her to check the back, um, your pupil has to be bigger, and your pupil can't react and get smaller, she shines a light, so. So we actually see <coughs> through the... She'll, she'll be seeing through the pupil into the back into of the, the eye. the back of the eye, okay. Okay, so you can come right to the side. <laughs> into the back of my eye they had to use a different numbing numbing oh, solution okay. so, we're be done. so that was uh it's probably not radio they check i know <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> yeah. and she's gonna look in the back of my eye this time yeah okay Now that was a, that's a dye that went in my eye, that went, went behind the eye, so she's able to pick it up when she's looking? No. No? no. Just a... Just makes the, just a numbing. the pupil big. Yeah, oh, I see. Oh, numbing. I see. It makes the eye... Okay, this one makes... The, that one was just a numbing. The drop you had later was just a... It makes your pupil big so they can look right behind it. Ah, I gotcha. Yeah. All right. She'll be in in a minute. Thank you. Okay, so they put a dilating solution in my eye this time so they can look behind my eye so it looks like right now i'm in good shape as far as um, 
glaucoma. Uh, the glaucoma check was good. So um, I'm happy with that. And as far as my vision, it's considered 2020 as far as they're concerned. Even though I was, you know, wondering about the um, the strength of my eye, even though my right one seems to be weaker than my left, even though my right is my strong eye. Um, and I was also concerned with getting outside um, reading glasses because I was concerned about the power of them. Whether I was hurting my eyes by, you know, not having the right. Um, power um, or magnification should I say and I've been dealing with 1.2 1.25 as far as reading glasses for my computer but she said even even two um, wouldn't be wouldn't be bad uh, really really positive situation so far so I guess the next thing I got to deal with my safety glasses and then maybe uh, sunglasses, we'll find out what they recommend for those. Um, but I definitely want to stick with the bifocal, bifocal situation on all of them. Just like, you know, I guess these these are perfect for me, you know. <laughs> they only cost me five bucks at Walmart when I can find them. Because the last time I went, the la last time I went, None of the racks had any. They were just the regular, regular sunglasses. And they work great during security, so I really don't want to change change anything. Uh, once you find something that works, you really don't want to change up um, as far as um, the optometrist. Where's the optometrist, yeah. His concern, he seems to be okay. So everything looks so good so far. Well, I haven't lived in yet. So for my I'm age? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your I'm, I'm hitting 60. <laughs> Your vision's good so far. <laughs> Come I'm forward hit, for me. I'm hitting 60. You got to go to regular medical school for optometry? Or? I go to optometry. I went to optometry school. Okay. It, it, so. it's, a, it's a Pacific mm -hmm. um, specialized. Yep. I, I, yep, four years after undergrad. After undergrad, okay. Yep. Okay. I use this machine here, really, really bright, so she can see the back of my eyes. Oh man, definitely makes me makes my nose run. Oh wow! Wouldn't have thought that my eyes had caused caused me to perspire so much. <laughs> I got two more tests and then I got to come back for glaucoma glaucoma check but as far as pressure on my eyes are concerned it appear to be okay I'm not sure pressure has to do with glaucoma so I'm not sure exactly what all that involves but we'll definitely find out okay so we're I'm done with the doc so next is just the is dealing with the technicians you an optometrist, she said she did four years, four years of schooling, and uh, and then of course the uh, uh, doing the residency or whatever the other. So it's four years of four years of college of uh, optometry. Like I guess it specializes in it. So residency. Wouldn't think it wouldn't be a bad bad profession. You want to start young though, right out of high school. Maybe you start out as a technician. We'll find out here. I'm gonna go use the restroom real quick. There's gonna be two different tests I'm gonna do, one here and one up the hallway. Okay, we'll go again, different machine. This one does what? Give the doctor a little bit of information about the back of your eye, the optic nerve area. Okay. Um, the nerve fiber layers, and we'll give her some information about that. And then the one up the hallway is really um, to test the 
um, thickness of your cornea because okay. they found in studies that if it's thicker or thinner can affect the pressures that we check. I okay? see. So now what did she do with the, the, the last one there? Wasn't that same thing? I'm not, oh, you mean the one that I did for you in the room? That no, was to check pressure. Just a few minutes ago. She oh, did, I'm not uh, sure what test was she done. She put the yellow in there and then she was looking with the, she was going like this, had me look up. No, 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 no. Oh, she was checking you through the slit lamp. So she was checking, um, okay. yeah, your eyes. Okay. The ba uh, back. This one checks the back of your eyes? Or that's this is going to give her information on the back of the eye, yes. Okay. This one's going to give her about the optic nerve area, the nerve fiber layers. We'll give her more information about those because whenever you have a high pressure or suspect for glaucoma, okay. this is one of the tests that they use to determine if there's um, anything back there that's abnormal. Uh, I okay. Bear with me here. Let me get you in. So, so far, the pressures are good. Yes. Okay. Well, I guess considering what she, the rest of the findings, I'm going to say uh, yes. Okay. So basically with everything put together, then it gives Right. They really need to, yeah, the criteria all kind of has to come together and give them some idea of, you know, you're truly a glaucoma patient or if they should be treating you that way or if in fact you're just a suspect and they should be watching you. So. Uh, I got you. Okay. Let me get you in the machine now because no. I'm thinking you might not be in here. Yeah, the mill thought I was a suspect. So. Yeah. That was 30 years ago. 30 years ago. Well, sometimes they can change over time. So, um, so I'm sure that's why she's being extra careful and making sure she gets all this testing. Mm -hmm. Certainly don't want to overlook anything. Yeah. All right, let's see here. 62560. Turn me up in 100. <laughs> um, <laughs> Now, the only, do you know what your last, um, oh wait, no, I was say, do you know what the last four digits of your social are just for ID purposes? 558, Thank you. That way everything will match in our system. All right, now that I've done that, let me get in here. Okay, so what I'm going to have you do is you're going to come in, there's a black dot on the left hand side, you're going to put your chin there with your head up against that left hand side of the you can come in for if you want to just bring this up a little more. There we go. Just come right in the center there. There you go. Bring your head right forward. You want to stay right forward for me, okay? Yeah. I'm going to lift you up a little bit here. Anyway, you're going to look in, in the machine. You're going to be looking for a snowflake or a star, okay? A green star. All right, good. That's where you need you to look. Perfect. Now, it's going to move off in a moment, but I'm going to start you there just to kind of get everything together here. All right. So, I want you to blink. Don't blink for a moment. Just watch that snowflake or star. Don't blink. Good. Now you're going to find that that's going to move off to the left. I want you to follow it for me. Good. Because that's where the optic nerve area will be. I'm just going to focus in here. I want you to keep both eyes open nice and wide if you can in between blinks. Just focusing in on your lip vessels there. Right, right there. Okay. So I want you to blink again. Good. I want you to hold your blink. Don't blink, don't move. You may, you may blink again. I'm going to do one more on that eye for you. Blink again. And try not to blink again. Starting now, nice and steady. Oh, your machine's different. Nope, your machine's different. I'm going to have you come to the right. Yeah, it is. You got our old one. <laughs> this one's much nicer. Same thing, you're going to be looking, this time though, you're going to look off to the right, okay? We still see that star, it's not purple, yeah. or uh, pink. I'm going to bring you a little closer in the view there, but I want you to look, oh, oh. But you need, I'm going to have you looking off though to your right at the snowflake or star. There you go, perfect. Stay right there, I'm just going to focus in on again. Perfect. Go ahead and blink, but try not to blink for a moment. Oh my God. You can blink again. You can yeah, actually nice. do that if it's not in there and they'll still bring it in. Um, yours just won't be my, as nice probably. Blink again. Good. And I want you to hold your blink nice and steady. Don't move. Don't blink. No, I use this, especially when people have like a high myo. I'm going to do that again. Go ahead and blink. Good. Open nice and wide. Good. That's perfect right there. Don't blink. Don't move just for a moment. Do 
you can blink again. You can sit right back. I'm just going to check everything in there. That's like going to the dentist and they take pictures of your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite as painful. Yeah, thank goodness for that. Wow. Huh? wow. glasses for <laughs> pick out frames actually you like this one because mm -hmm. I'm used to her having the round mm -hmm. the round glasses mm -hmm. and she wants the she Up wants the the kind of the square oh yeah it's hard when you have to change but it's nice to change styles every once in a while okay there you go I'm just going to plug it in one day business about five years since she's had anything done with her eyes so it's yeah. time yeah. getting uh, ice pick ice pick headaches and oh, yeah, that's something to do pretty good sign something's changed so I just look strange to me today and my things were in the right place That one do. This is the one that checks um, the corneal thickness oh. in your eyes. I see. So it's another pen you stick in the eye. Um, it's uh, it's not really a pen. It's um, a little probe, but it's not a. Oh. Come on, oh, we're basic by laser. This doesn't. Oh, okay. okay. This is Come on. It's not where I want to be. That's fine. So what we're going to do is this. I'm going to start it over again and hopefully it won't give me a hard time. There it's kind of the Elvis look. I <laughs> think that was better. What's that? <laughs> She's showing me that. Oh. You're wearing the Elvis glasses. That's the... Those are nice. Of course, the ones I don't like, she likes. Here, we are opposites. <laughs> you already know that. No, I absolutely love these. Okay. But, but. these are... <sighs> Hundred dollars. Uh, Cole? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're two twenty glasses, but they're a hundred bucks. No. But I have good taste. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> wrong with that. This is that numbing drop we're going to use to do this test. It may sting a little bit at first. It's not going to be yellow like the last one was, though. So you can dab any time. Oh, mine was yellow. Last oh, I had the yellow already. Yeah, so I was going to say this one we don't need the yellow for, so we're good. So what I want you to do for me is look down at the mirror on the wall. Both eyes open. Now you're not going to feel anything, but it's going to look a little strange. If you do feel it, you need to let me know. But I'm going to take five scans, one right after the other. They're both pretty close. I'm going to see that they are accurate. Hmm. I'm put those in there. How many years does it take to be a tech? The first step well, you, we you? teach you right on the, I mean, right on the job. So you oh, it's OJT. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, we, we train right on the job. Yeah, is that one step towards um, getting your getting your degree? Um, well, we have tests that you take along the way that kind of can um, bump you up to a different level. So, uh, I see. Um, that are through the academic association. <coughs> so let's put these in. So. 
So it's kind of like... Uh, it depends on how far you want to go. In the, in the medical field, you start out as a CNA, and then you go LPN, and then... Well, kind of, yes. I would say it's kind of on the same line as that, so... Yeah. Now, would you start that and become an uh, optometrist, or you would go no, straight from college? No, you would, have to, you would have to go to school like the, the normal, I mean, like the doctors do. I mean, that would not qualify you for any of that. But. I see. You'd have to go through all of that, but you'd have a lot of background knowledge, that's for sure. I see. So that's not that's not a requirement. You'd go straight into autonomous drinking or get, get your associates and something no, rather than go from there. We're just technicians, so I mean, we, I don't say just, but we're technicians, so it would not qualify you for anything in the medical field as far as a doctor goes. I see. I see. <laughs> so... How does the uh, how does the laser sur surgery go from from that point from a, from a doctor's? They just go specialize from, in I'm that. Sorry, say that again. Go I'm into la laser surgery for eyes and stuff like that. How does as that? As far as a doctor, or are yeah, you talking a patient? Yeah, go from a doctor. Point of view. Um, well, uh, you would have to be a subspecialty for that. I mean, so you would have to go. Um, <clears throat> if you were going to do something corneal, you would go into the corneal specialist part of it. I see. Um, because that would be more of a corneal thing where, you know, there'll be subspecialties in ophthalmology. Some people will do a uh, glaucoma specialist and do glaucoma surgery. Uh, I some gotcha. that do cataracts. Uh, cataracts can be done by a general ophthalmologist. I see. Um, but it's something that they would specialize for in that area. I get it. So, okay. all right. So kind of like a general doctor, and then they specialize in heart um, surgery and right go exactly like that because we have um, we have a retinal specialist, um, we have two other MDs on staff. They are medical doctors, but they oh. um, have a subspecialty in ophthalmology, so that's what their specialty is. So. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're going to take you up. I'm going to make sure she gets all of this testing today to review. Okay. Um, let me get out of here. Like so we'll make that appointment for two weeks. Now, when you come back, um, I don't think you're gonna, you're not gonna need these two things because we just did them. Um, but in two weeks, she'll do a visual field. Have you ever had one of those before, where you there are lights coming on in a dome and you're gonna push a button oh, and no, you see a light? Oh no, 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 That's what you're gonna do when you come back. Okay. Okay. So okay. I'm, whoops. So I'm gonna have you come with me, and we'll go ahead and get that um, scheduled for you. Okay. And then you should be all set for the day. Thank you. 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 We are here. We are extremely dry. Oh, really? I said, yeah. She said, you need, to, you need to start taking uh, eye drops every day. Really? Several times a day. Really? She gave me a sample of them. Okay. And then she said that um, if they don't, that doesn't help, she's going to put me on more spaces. Really? That's so why you, my eyes so are so, so bad you gotta dry all the time. So you got to dry eyes. So, does that have anything to do with your headaches? Your your spot? Uh, did she say? It's got nothing to do with the ice picks. Okay. But she told me if those ice picks change, yeah, then I need to go see a neurologist. Oh, okay. I said, well, they can't do anything because they're so short short lived. Right. She said, yeah, but they're they're a sign that you could be getting problems with your retina. And she looked at my retina, and my retina's fine. Okay. But. So, so, so she is narrowing, narrowing it down to your eyes. She said I have, she said I have severe allergies. Right. Which is the itching and everything. Right. And she said I have really, really dry eyes. Okay. So much so that this little box yeah. ain't gonna last for long. Okay. Got it. If these don't need to help though, I'm just going to stop in okay. and ask her for a different thing to try. Okay. Um, but my prescription's different. 
I figured it would be after 10 years. No, we went up. We had had it checked. We had it checked before we got married. Yeah. We, we went up to um, lens crackers and picked these out and, right. and the other glasses. Right. That had so been it was about five, six, seven years ago. Seven, about seven years ago. Yep. Yeah. Um, All right. What's different is this eye. Okay. Is the same. Left, left eye, right? And this eye. Right. Is actually different. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of like my case. Well, nothing's really changed. Don't worry, but I didn't really have a basis. But my left eye is stronger than my left. Oh, it's stronger than my right. So, but they feel everything's fine. They just want to do the check on my uh, do whatever check they need to do. Right, same here. Yeah. No, in my case, it's the other way around. But yet my... But it's a little bit better than it, than it was. Oh, good. My right, my, le my left... There's a little bit of a difference in the prescription. Not so much so that you have to change your sunglasses. Okay. Which maybe if I put them on, my eyes wouldn't hurt so bad. Right. Um, but then it could also be just from the difference in equipment. Right. Now everything's more technical and more accurate. Well, and given University Eye compared to lens crackers, which are like Walmart. Right. Well, of course, that was seven years ago. They don't have and University Eye, which is equipment that they got now. But I see a lot more clearly. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, they used to blow. They used to blow. Uh, you used to use air and blow in your eye. Now it's now it's a pen. Yeah, I know. And more. Um, what do you want to call it? Uh, more laser. More laser friendly stuff, I guess. No. no uh, I'm not exactly sure how all that stuff works, she actually but kind of scared me when she came at me with that pen. Yeah, I got the pen. I got the pen twice. Yeah. And then there was another machine. You put your face on. Yep. And then you were looking at a you were looking at a star, and then the star went off to the left, mm -hmm. and then you had to turn your look at it to the left, and this thing just scanned across your. Uh, came down and then uh, it was almost it was almost like sitting in the doctor's uh, in the dentist dentist chair with you know and they took the picture of it which is pretty cool and then she did the other one with the freaking bright ass light in my eye and then it's scanning going left left and right and I think that was when they were looking behind my eye and then this other machine was looking behind my eye at the actual optical nerve optic optic nerve and then uh, of course they did the distance checks and stuff like that but now they got a, now they got a baseline at 57 so and she wants me to come back in two weeks and they're gonna do whatever they need to do for those tests for the glaucoma so the only one that had glaucoma in the family was grandmother mother's side so mother doesn't have glaucoma but she's still wearing eyeglasses for when she's doing her when she was doing her dolls. Kind of the same as me doing the computer, uh, using the computer now. But now, at least I now have a basis. She says 2.25 for uh, uh, for the. Uh, Magnifying glasses. Magnifying glasses, which is great. Now I just got to find out to deal with the safety glasses. Because I like to get those with a bifocal. But as far as distance is concerned, I'm a solid 20-20 out of both eyes. So, but, uh, well, that takes care of that. Well, thanks for watching.
hope you guys got something out of it. You'll know know what to expect when you go to the optometrist. And we'll catch you on the next human drama.